the best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork, where we uh, get dorks and nerds together and we slam and knock on different doors while learn and have fun at the same time. We've got uh, me and Meryl here, the head door hardware nerd. As your uh, host today, uh, I, you know me as the door dork. Um, we'll be uh, diving into some doors shortly, but uh, Mia, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself to our fellow door hardware nerds? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me, Benji. I'm really excited. Um, so I am a senior product manager for the brand Sergeant Corbin Russwin and Yale, and I am also the producer, editor, uh, everything else store hardware nerd. So I am your head DHN uh, reporting for duty today. DHN. We, we have to add an acronym, right? <laughs> always. In this industry, always need a new one. Yeah. Acronyms and part numbers, right? <laughs> well, welcome. And uh, I think uh, normally we're going to have other dorks and nerds uh, as a, a panel on here where we can uh, dive in deeper into some of these uh, door hardware fails. Um, but as of right now, why don't I just go ahead and pop up the first one and uh, see what we think? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see what you got. Okay, uh, Mia, at first glance, what, what do you see? This one's a doozy. Well, um, I don't know if it's just the red paint that's underneath the white paint, but this looks like a murder scene to me. Um, somebody has committed a crime here. <laughs> yes, someone should be locked up for uh, <laughs> damaging this, this, this hardware right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully the electric strike still works so you can lock this person in the room. But uh, yeah, this is... Um, Maybe somebody was learning. Maybe they were learning for uh, uh, how to do an installation. Well, yeah, you know what? We're always we're always learning, and uh, hopefully this was on their own uh, facility and not uh, an end user or a customer of theirs. And they're like, "Hey, here you go. You got your electric strike installed." Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I guess as long as they didn't hit any wires, we're probably good to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing that uh, if you, this this is one of those photos, if you look even closer, like the worse it gets, um, like there's a screw, like not all the way screwed and like coming undone. I mean, yeah. overall, just a, 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 a hack job, but I just don't think they were using the proper tools to make this happen. Yeah. So I personally have never done an electric strike install before, but I mean, I can tell that maybe they should have run back out to the van for something else. I think this, uh, they used like a chainsaw or something that cut into this frame. <laughs> yeah. And on the back side, like on the wall side, did they cut like too far too? It looks like there's like a slot that runs, uh, extends further than the back end of the strike as well. Yeah. It's hard, hard to see, but it does look like there's like a gap <laughs> kind yeah. of hidden there. Maybe that explains the uh, scrapes on the, the the frame stop right there. Yeah, I would not I would not be happy with this installation. I know we discussed uh, the idea of giving it a rating, right? Uh, a, a, a knocking rating or <laughs> or a slamming rating. Like how how hard does this door slam? Or I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is pretty egregious. So I would say. Um, from a customer satisfaction standpoint, like this would be like if I was doing a one to, to 10 rating um, with 10 being like, I'm not a happy customer. This is probably an eight. With that rating scale, whatever we call it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's, let's see the next one. What you got? What, what else you got for us? Oh no. <laughs> Somebody did not adjust their closer correctly. Yeah. Uh, someone's having a, a terrible day. Uh, or, or Jackson Pollock came back from the dead and uh, I, maybe it's an architectural feature. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it could be considered art. And man, that, that oil is a pain to clean up as well. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this where it's actually projectile exploded oil all over the place. Yeah, this, this is a scary, another, another scary scene. This is, I mean, this is why we have those internal pressure relief valves uh, in our closers so that this doesn't happen. I can't even, can you imagine if you were inside this room? Because it looks like the inside. Yes. When yes. this happened. <laughs> what, 
like like this has hit you in the face. This has covered your clothing. I I can't imagine the day the person that this happened to is having. Like what was the rest of their day like? Yeah, no, walking in, especially if it was like a Monday morning or something, you're like walking in, you're tired from the weekend. <laughs> You unlock the door and you open up and you're like, oh no, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I think I might have quit that day. I would have just quit and taken <laughs> the rest of the week off. That's it? Uh, that would have been a pretty brutal start to any week. Yeah. Okay. So as far as uh, a door knocking ratings, um, wh- where do you think this this one lines up? I mean, here's the thing, right? The install probably wasn't wrong. We don't even know what happened during the actual installation. Over time, um, the valves could have just drifted and somebody didn't adjust them properly. Whose fault is that? I don't know, but I would be so mad if I was the person that experienced this photo. This would be a a 25 out of a 10 scale. Yeah, this this is this is pretty bad. This is up there, definitely. Oh boy! Uh, join us next time. Our door is always open because it's unhinged. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, and always remember that our doors are always open here at the Door Hardware Nerds because they're unhinged. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Yes. <laughs>